What's up guys? So one of my latest videos, we installed the Zeke 13K Platinum Winch on the CBI bumper here on the 22 TRD Pro. And I mentioned in that video, before you ever use a winch in the, in the field, on the trails or anything like that, you have to make sure you do one thing especially, and that is pre-tension your rope or stretch your rope. Some people considering it stretching it. What that means is we have to unwind all of the rope off of the winch and then tension it as we spool it back on. If you don't do that and you try to use this in the field without doing that step, there is a very good chance that you're gonna damage your rope. It's gonna bind up on you. If you're a fisherman, think of it like a bait caster. You want that line wrapped tight on your on your spindle. Um, that way, when you, when you go to use it, it doesn't kind of bind down and bite on itself. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's very simple. You only need a couple things to get this job done, and there are different ways to do it. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get it done on ours. First thing, as always, make sure the truck is running whenever you're winching. So we're just gonna to come to our disconnect switch, turn the winch power on. We're gonna come down, turn to free spool, turn the clutch to free spool. That will allow us to pull all of the rope out. We're basically gonna extend this rope all the way. Um, I'll show you what we're using to get the tension on the rope, uh, but it's gonna allow us to take it all the way down and get, you wanna leave about at bare minimum, five or six wraps around uh, around the drum in there. I'll give you a look at that and what I mean. So we're just gonna grab our Factor 55 E-Link and pull it all the way out. Now you don't wanna do this too quick because again, it's got a little bit of tension on it, but if you do it too quick, you don't want that drum to spin and have that line get all tangled up in there. So just slow, steady pace, pull all your cable out. Okay, so you can see we're on a little bit of an incline, or actually I should say a decline going down. And what we're gonna be using is our um, our Bad Boy Maverick. It's got some weight to it. You wanna make sure whatever you're using has a little bit of weight to it. Um, the other way, one of the other popular ways to do this is to find a tree and actually hook your vehicle directly up to a tree using the correct straps, the tree, tree saver straps and all that good stuff. Um, unfortunately, even though we live in the country and have a lot of trees, I don't wanna risk tearing up my grass because it just poured here. It's super soggy, so that's why we're doing it this way. Um, you can see all the rope is extended, but I want to show you one thing. When you come up here, you can see the rope changes color at a certain point. Most winches do that, and I love it, because that gives you a warning. You don't want to go out much farther. So if we look inside the drum here, you can see in there that we're down to the last row of, of coils on the drum. Okay, so I am gonna pull out a little bit further. You want about, like I, like I mentioned, a minimum five to six wraps around that drum. So I am gonna pull out a little bit more and I'll give you a look before we start winching back in. Okay, hopefully you can see it in there now. We have about seven wraps left on the drum. We're gonna stop right there. Um, any, with a synthetic rope especially, anywhere in that area, six, seven, eight, maybe even nine or 10 wraps around the drum is a good place to start to get this tension going. Don't ever go below five or six wraps, especially with synthetic rope. All right, so now we're ready to go down and hook up to the bad boy and uh, start winching it in. And you can see how it's kind of very tightly pushed up again. There's a tiny little bit of a gap right there. But when you're spooling this onto the drum, that's you wanna kind of guide it, and you'll see me doing it while we do it, but you wanna guide it back and forth so it's a nice kind of tight and bunched up close to each other. Um, again, I'll show you what I mean as we're going. All right, guys, so as you can see, we are we have our tree saver strap around the bad boy. Um, we're just using a tree, tree saver for this. Um, this doesn't have to be technical exactly how you would do it in the field, um, just so you know what we're doing here. We're gonna take a D-ring, put it through our Factor 55 flat link E. That E stands for expert, and the difference is, just real quick, I'll show you. On the Factor 55, the standard, it just has an, a circle there, a circle opening. The E gives you that little bit of an oval shape down there. It gives you more room to hook up to. I, that's personally why I chose to go that route and I, I, I do like it. So we're just gonna take the D-ring, hook it in there, get our straps through. And we may actually have to use a second D-ring just to, uh, we might be able to get them both in there. But this is how you're just gonna kinda connect. Again, this may not this might not be what you're going to do to winch in the field but since all we're doing is tension in the rope this will this will be uh perfect for what we're trying to do today so we're just going to secure the rope like so you want to tighten your bolt down and then when you get it tight 
back it off just about maybe a, an eighth or a, maybe a quarter of a turn so it doesn't bind up on you. That's definitely more important when you're when you're pulling heavier loads. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back the bad boy up until we have the tension on the rope and then we'll start winching her in. Okay, so we're hooked up. You can see that the, the rope has a little bit of tension on it. It's off the ground. Um, so we're ready to start pulling her in. One other thing too, make sure you have a good set of gloves, especially if you're, if you're doing this with cable. Obviously we have a synthetic rope. You still wanna wear gloves for it no matter what. But if you have a cable rope, do not do this without gloves on. You are asking for trouble. You might get your hands ripped up if there's a burr in the line or anything like that. So synthetic is definitely much easier, but you still wanna wear gloves for doing this part. All right, so we're ready to start winching. We're gonna go back up to the truck and start pulling her in. Okay, so thankfully we have a wireless remote. If you don't, just plug it in, get ready to, to winch. Um, we're just gonna come back down here, put the clutch back into the engaged position. I'm gonna turn on my, there's a switch on, on this Zeke for the wireless option, so I just have to turn that switch on. Turn on the remote by pressing and holding the button. If you have this exact winch, we're in wireless mode. Okay, so now we're just gonna slowly start dragging it in. And again, you'll see me kind of guiding the rope back and forth on the drum to make sure it's lining up and stacking up as it should. The other thing too is, uh, if you're brand new to winching, don't just continually winch, you know, do it for, for a little bit. Um, I usually go maybe 30, 45 seconds, just, you know, just to be safe, and then give it about a 30 second break, give or take, um, depending on the situation, just to let that motor cool down so you don't overheat. It is stacking up nice on the drum, just kind of guiding it with my hand here. So we're just gonna continue to do this process and I'll give you a look at how it's lining up on the drum in a second. Okay, so we're, we're maybe a little over halfway in and you can see how it's nice and evenly lining up back and forth onto the drum. That's exactly what you want. You wanna make sure it doesn't overlap and lay on itself. That's when you're, you know, you can get into trouble in the field when you're working with heavier loads, but this is lining up perfectly. So we're just gonna continue to pull it in until we have just a few feet left and I'll show you how to wrap it up. All right, so you can see we're down to the last, I don't know, maybe three or four feet of, of rope here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the brakes on the tractor so that won't roll backwards on me. We're gonna let just a little bit of slack back out so we can go ahead and disconnect. And then we can actually just, this last few feet, I'm just gonna hold on to and uh, you know we can pull it back in. So again, I'm just gonna put the brakes on the tractor. And one thing I should have mentioned, <laughs> Um, if you're going to do something like this, obviously I had the transmission on the tractor disengaged. So it was, you know, a free, you know, so I wasn't fighting against the transmission. Um, but that's another reason why you want to make sure you're pulled, whatever you're pulling, you want to pull it up a very slight incline just to get that tension. All right, so tractor brake is on. We're going to let out just a little bit of slack. Now we'll be able to go ahead and disconnect. All right, so now with this last few feet of rope, we can simply just kind of put our body weight on it. And I'm using the D-ring attached to the, the flat link still, just so when we get up close to the fair lead, the fart, you can use a tag on this, which I would actually do. But again, for this situation, this is perfectly fine just to keep your hand away from that fair lead as we get closer. So with my body weight on it, we're just gonna pull the last few feet in. Take our D-ring off position our flat link how we want it and then just give it a little tap making sure your fingers are not behind there my fingers are on the, the top and the bottom here get it positioned right in the middle or however you want it just give it a little tap and we're done okay you don't want to winch that too hard in there just snug to keep it uh, you know in place all right guys, so that's how you pre-tension your rope. Make sure you do this before you use your winch in the field or on the trails. It is super important to take this step. Um, as you can see, it only takes a few minutes to do this, so make sure you take care of it. So I'm just gonna turn off my wireless option, put the remote away, turn off our disconnect switch, and we are done. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them down below. I appreciate you guys watching. Enjoy the games today, it's conference championships. So I'm getting ready to go in, do some editing, put my feet up, and, and, uh, and watch the Eagles and Niners to kick things off. So questions, put them down below. Thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one. Take care.